Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be doing the quick Simbrief assisted version of setting up the FMS on the Airbus A320 V2. Let's get started. So uh, we're going to do this quickly. If you saw the previous video, you kind of saw the long version. Uh, today we're going to see this short version. So first things first is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the junk we don't need. Now one of the things I have done already is if I go ahead and pop onto my Simbrief page, let me open that one real quickly, is I've already generated this flight plan just a few seconds ago so everything would be basically squared away and ready for me to go ahead and import. The last flight plan you generate is the one that goes into the computer. It's something you really, really got to remember because if you don't remember that and you do something like to you know, the middle of Dubai or something like that, it's going to give you some issues. So let's do it. OFP, download, done. We're going to go to ground. We're going to actually shut everything off. Uh, I don't want anything connected to us. Payload, you're going to see a button that says Simbrief. I click on that, apply load, instant. Um, that's all set for that. Take off, of course, I can come in here. I can pick the take off that. Whoa, T8 would be a fun runway. You go like that. We can go ahead and refresh all those things just like that. Oh, sorry, 15 rights. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Hit calc, oops. <laughs> Got to actually hit sync. Calculate, and you can see everything's all set and ready to go because we don't have a weight yet. That's why it's being grumpy at me. Fantastic. Payload's good to go. Load has been applied. Everything's good. Everything's good there. Done. Moving on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make our way to the middle here. Uh, we're going to turn on the two batteries. Uh, it's going to take a few moments for those to boot up. As soon as we do that, we're going to come over here to the APU. We're going to press the master switch. And what that's essentially going to do is it's going to say, you may now use the APU. It's going to open up a little hatch in the back to basically kind of let the air kind of rush through and heal with the exhaust. So I'm going to come here and just click just like that. Go ahead and snap those on because reasons. This is going to take some time to boot up, but that's perfectly fine because what I'm going to do is I'm come float up here and get my a deers all fired up while that's going it's going to take a moment though because unfortunately when we do boot up the apu here you'll notice we have no real electrical power because we're no longer in that gpu again we're doing the fast version here <laughs> so everything's all set up the apu is now fired up and is now taking over the power of everything else on board You'll see all my screens are going to take a few moments to boot up, but that's perfectly fine. Not going to stress about it. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to float down to my lovely FMS here and I'll kind of get this uh, process going here. So I'm going to come down to my FMGC, uh, just like we did in our previous video. It's going to open up, ignore. I'm going to go to my init page and there's this lovely init request button. I love this. What you can do is you can press that and it loads everything. <laughs> so there's a couple little things we need to do. Uh, now that we've done that, of course, uh, we need to confirm everything is accurate here so we can actually go to our next page. Um, this day you can see is not accurate so all we have to do is click these two like that that's done too so now what i'm going to do is go to my flight plan you can see my flight plan has uh, been preloaded. the one thing that was not loaded you'll probably notice is we did not load the takeoff runway in the arrival runway it will not do that for us automatically sigh so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to bwi like that and we're going to do our departure again we're going to do 15 right today and um, we're doing a direct so i'm just going to do an insert like that and it's uh, pretty much good to go 15 right direct bros checks with that I'm going to head down to Bradley. Go ahead and click that. I'm going to arrival. Uh, we're going to do, uh, I think we did Deer Park last time, so that works for me. So I'm going to do ILS 6 via Deer Park. And it's going to say via Deer Park. Sounds good. Insert. And all we have to do now is confirm that there are no discontinuities anywhere in our little flight plan here. Uh, we've got a little emergency spot. We've got all those. I can see my Quebec 419 is done loading. That all looks good to me. Uh, the last thing we need to do is dial in our runway takeoff performance. Uh, we'll come over here and get that all set up. So I'm going to go synchronize this. Check to make sure those numbers are good. I'm going to dial in my weight. Um, I got my weight right off my payload page, as you saw a few moments ago. Uh, let's see here. Live gross weight is 105.548. That looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to make sure I did this correctly. That doesn't, that doesn't feel right. No, that's accurate. So I'm going to go ahead and head back over to the takeoff page, dial that in, calculate, send to FMGS. It's going to go launching into my FMGS. So all I have to do now is dial in my values, 148, 148, and 150. It sounds familiar, right? Looks good, looks good, looks good. Of course, uh, we're going to do a flex temperature. We already got that from last time, so we'll just dial that in. Take off shipped if we needed. Uh, we're going to do flaps configuration number two, and that's it. Our FMS is completed as far as programming. As you can see, it is vastly, 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 vastly quicker to do it that way versus trying to enter each waypoint individually. If you're traveling across the Atlantic or something, you can imagine just how much work that would have been to put it every single one of those latitude and longitudes, which again is why a lot of modern systems like this are optimized for that uplink versus being optimized for sitting there and dialing it in. Enjoy.